It's like a really wide piano. Guys, before we get started today, I want to introduce my new desk, the Mega Desk. We have a built-in miter saw stand, leveled. I don't know what to do with the excess here. Chop it, chop it. We have a leveled table saw. What? So this brings me to our project today. Guys, I have moved on up from Home Depot Wood. Out with the pine, at least for this project, we're gonna make a coat rack, and this is walnut. And we have over here, I'm very excited, very nervous. We have some purple heart wood. Oh, is this not the, like the prettiest wood ever? This wood weighs like as much as concrete. It's insanely heavy. The walnut is pretty light, very weird. First we cut. It's looking good, but listen to this. You hear that? That's not good. Now we must break out the sled. Do you believe I have some shims in here? Hopefully. Shims. Shims, yes. See the rocking? We don't want it rocking. So we're gonna jam this shim in there until it's nice and tight. Guys, good news, bad news. I totally set up the camera, but forgot to press record when I did the uh, planer. The good news is it worked. My sled worked. Yes. Woo. After many, many minutes, we've got it down. We've got it down after many passes and it's looking really, really good. Now let's uh, find the straightest side. Yeah, that one's not straight. Here's hoping that this one's straight so I don't have to recut. There we go, that's the straight side. Okay, that's where we start. Let's find and mark two inches. Look what I just noticed. I'm gonna try to capture it on camera for you. When you get the purple heart wood at a certain angle, it shimmers. It's just so cool looking. See those like stripes? Oh. Before we do anything, let's check to make sure we're still square. Looking good. Let's open the blast gate. Ugh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new day. Look at all this dust. Guess you forgot to turn on the dust collector gate valve. This guy. Whoops. Oh, dust collector on. Man, that was really intense. Lots of stuff cut. Now let's get a little bit of these scragglies off. So you can kind of see what we're doing here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sandwich. It's gonna go on the end of here, and my plan is it's eventually going to line up all the way down our little hallway. So the idea is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole zzz, all the way through, put a dowel in, and then these are going to lean out, just the purple ones. They're gonna lean out to around 45 degrees and then we can hang whatever on there. All right, I just saw this down 45 degrees so I can just show you a quick sneak peek of the mechanism in action here. So it's gonna lock down against the wall like so. What do you think, mama? I That's gonna be really hard. My mom was trying to figure out what color to paint the wall behind it. So right now I, I need to figure out where to put the uh, hole. That's the next step. So this is like somewhat mahogany. Am I right? You feel yeah. me? Look yeah. At, so I put a uh, color for accent walls with mahogany. Look at that. Ooh. So lucky for you, I have a plethora of colors. Lay it down, mama. So look, it would either be this color Whoa. Or a darker color. No. I, I mean, think this dark. one actually works better. You think so? Look at All right, so I'm now the looking. next step is we try to find a wall color that matches that teal, right? Look at the different kinds of things you can do with. Color. Why is it all blue? I didn't put blue. I went yeah. mahogany. Bro, you put blue. Paint that goes with, I did not. Look, wait, paint that goes with oak wood trim. That's not oak. That's not oak, it's purple heart and walnut. <laughs> now we're going to cut shapes out of other shapes. On the pretty side, there's the pretty side. And that's it, that's all we're doing. We're just chopping off 45 degree angles of uh, these guys, but we're actually gonna do it twice and I'll show you why. Like so, it's like a parallelogram trapezoid. Oh, Beeb's nose. All right, let's take what we just made, like so, and we're gonna come over here. So check this out, this is the piece that we just cut, right? So the idea is it's gonna mount like this and then it's gonna rotate on a ball circle thingy and eventually it's gonna land just like so. So now you can see why the 45 degree angle is right so it can hit, hit the wall on the bottom and then on the top, it's going to be nice and flat. So guys, full disclosure, the more I do this project, the further down I go, the less confident I am because everything just has to line up so ridiculously perfect and I'm not loving that. I've created this little makeshift drill press jig just so I can have some repetition when drilling the holes. That's the next step. Just lock it in, drill, throw it, drill, throw it. Let's see. And you need to do cheaper wood, babe. I know. And the expensive wood to practice <sighs> on. It's so nerve wracking. <laughs> I just gotta work through it, you guys. I gotta work through the confidence or lack thereof. And then just do. All right, first hole. I'm nervous. I'm going back to pine after this. Cool. All right, so in theory, I should be able to just set up the next one and go. Nerve wracking. 
moment of truth, you guys. Let's do some quick test fitting to see what's up. So this would go on like so. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. That's nice. And then we have a spacer. This guy would remain stationary. And then this guy would go on and it would just repeat all the way down. Okay, I set it up for you guys. I can't tell if it's straight or not. I think it might be straight. And then if it goes down, I don't know y'all, I think it might actually work. I did notice some weird discrepancy on this side when I was showing you guys on the other side. I don't know how to recreate it though. Oh, there it goes. Um, if I go perfectly perpendicular, it's not flush. There's like a little gap right there. However, on the other side, it's totally flush and this one's perfect. So what did I do differently on this side versus the other side? That's gonna be my next hour, figuring that answer out. Nice truck, bro. Well, you guys, quick update. It's coming along nicely. Look at this. Look at some of this. Look at this. I need to sand this one down. It's a little lumpy, but it's good. Day 50. I don't remember what day we're on, but we've shellacked. They're looking really good. Let me try to catch it in the light so you can see the shimmer. Look at that. Beautiful, I'm really proud of the uh, shellac job. And we have a bunch of these walnut pieces. They're all done. Let me just take you on over. I have built the first one. What? Guys, I'm so proud. It turned out really good. Sorry about this Izzy's coffee mug hashtag. So the idea is right now it's horizontal. We need to make it vertical. And then once it's there, gravity should do the trick. Oh, it's upside down. Then there's my hooks right there. And they should all be equal. Woo! All right, let's make the other one. Last piece, woo! Right up next to each other, they should be the same length. And they are, Ooh. Let's do a quick soft test. We're good, we're good. This one's jammed up, we're good. It's like a really wide piano. Woo! This one's good. Good, all right, now, the next step is we need to lock the last end pieces in place. I need to research the best way to fix wood to metal. Do you still use wood glue? Is that a thing? I don't know, I'll figure it out. And then after that, we shave these guys off to size, and we're done. Well, you guys, they're done, they're sanded, they're prepped. It's Look, beautiful. Instead of getting a router and, and doing like one of those hidden things, yeah. I just, I don't care, I don't mind the screws. We can get some really small screws. So those are pre-drilled and ready to go. Oh. They're all not lacquered up. What are they? They're all so lacked. Yep. So guys, I'd love to cap this episode by putting these guys up and hanging a hat or a jacket and being like, thank God. But we want to paint that wall, Mama. Well, no, you know what? We we decided that we were going to paint the wall, but then we couldn't oh. figure out a paint color. And then a friend was like. Wallpaper. And we were like, yeah. Wallpaper. Seriously, but that's going to take a lot of like brain work. <laughs> we yeah. got to find the right wallpaper, so, put it on. Yeah, so we're not rushed to do any bad decisions because we do that a lot. <laughs> We do that a lot, We're including the cookies you. I'm about to make. They gave you the boobies. <laughs> they didn't give me the boobies. Why would you even do that to your <laughs> husband? Don't touch them. They're my cookies. Babe, you know I have no You have no self-control. Well, anyway, we're going to stop it here, and one of these days you'll see it up with some really beautiful wallpaper. You want to give him a sneak peek of my next project after that? Yes. <gasps> On our, there's our whole name. Okay, I'm glad you didn't do that. Guys, yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to move our whole name. Yep. I was about to show you something on an address of ours. Okay, there we go. Just, that's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Look away. Look away. Bye, your eyes. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.